Baby, you're home. You're back earlier than I expected. Oh, come here, I missed you. Hey, <laughs> I know it's only been a few hours, but I can still miss you, can I? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm very clingy. It's part of my appeal. <laughs> Have you uh, had dinner yet? Well, lucky for you, I ordered food earlier and bought an extra serving of your favorite just in case you were hungry. Want me to heat it up? Later. Oh, not feeling hungry right now, huh? That's all right. Um, come sit with me then. I was about to start on a new series. It's supposed to be really good, a mix of like mystery and comedy. Oh, by the way, did you end up picking anything up when you were out? You said you were going to go shopping with some friends. Oh, didn't find anything you liked. At all, huh? Hmm. Well, the weather's turning cold soon, baby, and I know you need a new coat. You know, instead of layering my old thin sweaters all fall long. Yes, you do look cute in my clothes, but we should get around to buying you something warmer. Maybe a huge quilted parka or, like, a nice puffy jacket. One where you'll look like a big, cute, toasted marshmallow. <laughs> we could go tomorrow if you're free and... Baby? Baby, what's wrong? Was it, uh... It wasn't something I said, was it? Hey. Hey, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Please, please don't cry, baby. Oh. I can't hear you when you're all muffled in my chest like this. L look at me. Please? Okay. Hi. <laughs> Okay, now, now breathe. Breathe, take deep breaths. Slowly, yeah. In and out. <laughs> you got it. One more time for me. In. And out. Okay. God, baby, you scared me. Suddenly bursting into tears like that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you cry. My sweaters are all yours for the taking. I, I, I didn't mean you can't borrow them anymore or anything. It's not me? Then what is it, darling? Come on now. It's definitely not nothing if you could cry so easily over it. And you know you can tell me anything, right? It's okay. Hey, take your time. Breathe, honey. Gather your thoughts. I'm here, okay? Oh, you went up a dress size. That's why you didn't buy anything new today? Hmm. And when I said you shouldn't wear my clothes or that you'll look like a puffed up toasted marshmallow... Right, you thought I was teasing about your weight gain and that's why you... Mm. I see. I'm sorry. I, I I didn't mean to make you feel that way, baby. I promise I wasn't poking fun at you. No, no, no. Go on. I'm listening. You felt embarrassed to ask for a larger size in the changing room and felt sad you couldn't fit into what you would normally wear. Hmm. Then you started to notice extra... Mm, fleshy parts around your tummy, thighs, and arms. Your face, too? Have I noticed you gain weight? I don't think you did, let alone noticed it. I mean, you feel the same when I hold you, and I like the way you feel. I mean, does it matter if you actually did, though? I mean, you still look stunning to me. I am looking at you. See? <laughs> My eyes are on you. And I'm not lying when I say you. All of you, your face, your mind, your heart, your body. Mm, my God, your body. <laughs> mm. 
It's absolutely breathtaking. I am too being real with you. If you don't believe me, take your top off and let me see. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Ow, baby, no, don't hit me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Jeez. <laughs> you know I'll take every opportunity to see you naked. See you naked. <laughs> mm, but seriously, though. So you've gone up a size. What's wrong with that? Doesn't change how gorgeous you truly are, nor does it affect how I feel about you. Mm. But it makes you feel shitty about yourself, huh? Hmm, okay. Well, why do you say so? Hmm. Okay. It's a rather unfair pressure to put on yourself, but I'm not here to invalidate how you feel, you know? We each have complicated relationships with our bodies, and I can understand why you feel the way you do. However, I also want you to understand that your value as a person doesn't diminish with an increased body weight. Can we agree on that? <laughs> You're still my sexy sweetheart. My witty bombshell. My hot as fuck best friend. <laughs> Do I think you should lose weight? Hmm. Why would you ask for my opinion on your body, sugar? Well, hmm. Here's the thing. If you want to lose weight, it has to be because it's something you want for yourself. Not for me or anyone else who thinks they have a say on your body. Your body's job is not to be a certain number on the scale or conform to one letter tagged on your clothes. Is it a letter? Is it numbers? I don't know. Its job is to keep you alive. And I thank the stars every night for the mighty job it's doing in keeping my favorite person nice and safe. Of course I mean it, sweetheart. I hope you never feel the need to change for me. You certainly don't have to. Besides, want to know what the ideal body weight is? You on top of me. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm clingy and perverted. Such excellent qualities you seek in your dream man. <laughs> Come on. You know you love me. <laughs> hmm. I love you too. Now, promise me, if you're going to try to lose weight, you won't be on a crash diet or anything unhealthy, okay? I'll help you along if you want. You can take night strolls after dinner, you know, get in that 10k steps a day. Maybe take up a fun class like rock climbing or Mai Tai. Huh? Beat people up? Krav Maga? We'll even stop ordering desserts when we eat out in support of your endeavor. <laughs> because the only sugar I need is you. <laughs> but again, We'll do this only if you want to. I want you to feel beautiful in your body, as beautiful as I already know you are. Hmm. I wish for once you would believe me, baby. These aren't just empty words, because when I say you're gorgeous, it's, it's sincere. With just a look, I want you to feel how much I adore you. I mean, you make me feel so loved with just a glance, and I want to, I want to reciprocate that for you. Sure you do. When you say kind things about me and my uh, body, there's a wicked sparkle dancing in your eyes and a dangerous smirk dangling from the corner of your mouth. You make me shy and confident about my body all at once. And I want that for you, too. In the quiet spaces where there's just us and our attraction for each other. All I want is 
for you to feel beautiful. And I want to take moments like these, moments where we can share our hearts, or even the companionable silence to stretch on beautifully, endlessly. Because every time I look in your eyes, I know you're right where I am. Falling fearlessly, one kiss, one laugh, one moment at a time. Hey. You know there's a difference between kissing someone because you find them physically attractive and kissing someone because words can no longer explain your feelings for that person. And you, my love, are an amalgamation of both. Because you're ridiculously beautiful, and I am so irrevocably in love with you. For all that you are. Everyone has an idea of what perfection is. Mine just happens to be you. You may not see yourself as how I see you, but We'll get there, love. I promise we will. Now, come here. Cuddle in close. Let me hold you. We can stay like this until you feel better, all right? Yes, sweetness. Even if it takes the whole night. Sure, and tomorrow morning as well. Now, let's take the rest of the week. <laughs> Get comfy then, baby baby, where there's nowhere else I'd rather be.